two. Then Steve Cram, three world records of the mile, wears three. Ray Flynn of Ireland, the Irish champion, in four. Mike Boyd, the 36-year-old, on his last tour of Europe, wearing six. And John Walker, shown there, wearing seven, just with his back to us. The first man to run a 350 mile. They're the leading ones. And six British sub four minute milers Pat Chester, Ashworth Lorcan, Alan Modisette, Tim Redman, Alan Salter, and Steve Martin. Tim Redman, who recently won the Inter Counties Mile Championship, on the right hand side there, wearing number 12. And the fascination here really is what tactics the leading runners will adopt because city centre races are very different to track miles and prove very often to go against the grain. Sydney Marie, a man who has the strength, a 5,000 metre man as well as 1,500 metres of course, could be the man to set the early pace. But Steve Cram, of course, is the form horse. Arguably the greatest athlete in the world in 1985. And in fact, few would argue with that description. Steve Cram, though, has had his injury problems. His first race in Zurich three weeks ago when he injured a hamstring. He was telling me that he's uh, had three very fast track sessions since. But obviously, there is no test to match that of an actual competitive race like this one. But Steve Cram has had the sort of year that athletes simply dream of. He set world records at 1,500 metres, a mile, and 2,000 metres. So, of course, one of those records for 1,500 metres has since been taken by Saeed Awita. Steve Cram is popular on the streets of London as he is on the streets of his native northeast. 12 men in the race then. The figure all in blue there, just in the background, is Sidney Marie, who is one of the great uh, road racers. He's won the big races in New York, in Rome, and in Toronto. And he himself, a former world record holder at 1,500 metres, a record he came close to regaining this summer, and he became only the third man in history to run under 3 minutes 30. Steve Ovet has twice been world record holder over the mile. There's Marie, number two. Number nine is Ashworth Lowe. Number eight, Pat Chester. Number 12, Tim Redman. Number 10 is Steve Martin, a very tall figure from Harringay. Number six, the man who makes his farewell appearance today to Great Britain, Mike Boyd. Boyd on the right-hand side of the picture at the age of 36 has been uh, running in Great Britain for many, many years, but this is his final appearance, and the crowd, I'm sure, will respond to his presence. Mike Boyd in the white top on the left-hand side of the picture. Steve Cram right in the centre with Sidney Marie, but also Pat Chester there as the runners are strung out across the road into Parliament Street for the first right-hand turn. I know certainly Steve Ovette was a little concerned that if the field was as closely bunched as this later in the race, there could be problems as they go through Admiralty Arch. So that's another of the famous sites, the 300 foot high clock tower of Big Ben, next to the Houses of Parliament on Westminster Bridge. The runners are on their way down Great George Street. Third cage walk ahead of them, but they will turn right into Horse Guards Road. Mike Boyd, well to the fore, in fact leading a 36-year-old who has the fastest ever time over a mile. Would you believe the astonishing time of 3 minutes 28, which he set in Auckland, New Zealand, on a course that was very obviously downhill with a, a following typhoon, I should think. Mike Boyd. And what a dream it would be if he could place highly in this, his final race in Great Britain. On the left-hand side of the picture, wearing the yellow vest and the number 12 jersey, is Tim Redman from Coventry Godiva. So Boyd, looking a somewhat reluctant leader at this stage, with the big names, Walker on the right-hand side, second from the right, Marie all in blue next to him, and Cram, and Ray Flynn, the Irishman all in red, beginning to show. And they're just coming up to the halfway stage and they've been going relatively slowly really because they're just passing halfway now in two minutes three seconds. Quicker, of course when she won the women's race 
produce a much faster second half. I'm sure we're going to see that there, particularly when we have that down from downhill 300 yards to the finish. And Boyd lengthens his stride. Flynn has gone with him all in red, the Irishman. But as yet, no sign of a move by the big three names of Marie, Cram, and Ovette. Walker also, who has had his share of injury problems and would be happy just to get through this race as they go uphill in amongst the leaders. So they turn from Horse Guards Road and run down towards Admiralty Arch. A magnificent facade built to, to commemorate the reign of Queen Victoria. And Ovette's concern about how tightly bunched the field may be at this stage, not proving to be well founded. They're safely under the arch. Men will turn down by Trafalgar Square. And as you can see, have a quarter of a mile to go. And Sidney Marie on the right hand side, all in blue, begins his bid with Ovette very well placed too. Cram the kicker over the final 300 meters. But is he in a good position to kick here? Point leads. Ovette in second place. Flynn just losing third place to Cram. But Cram beginning to come through now on the inside. And Marie can't live with the pace being set by the 36 year old Mike Boyd. With Flynn all in red finishing strongly too. But it's Ovette who's pushed himself out into the lead with 200 meters to go. But here comes Steve Cram. He's left it very late indeed. What a finish this is going to be between two of the greatest British athletes of all time. And it looks as though it's Steve Ovette who's got it. Cram looks over his shoulder. He's sure he's safe with the second of the second place now. And Steve Ovette, who's had such a disappointing season, returns in style to win it, with Flynn possibly just edging Cram out as the line approach for second place. 3.56 the winner's time. And Steve Ovet, who's had such a disappointing year, who told me before the race that he'd be happy just to finish, has finished and done so in style with a win. And it's a little bit to see Steve Ovet back in top four because he almost uh, couldn't believe it. He was looking over his shoulder all the time as Cram coming up on him, as indeed Cram was hard. But his strength told, and he's right back at the top. Well, Steve Ovet has won uh, two mile races on the track this year in Belfast and Edinburgh. He hasn't beaten Steve Cram since way back in 1981 when they ran a mile race in Sydney. He's run 28 sub four minute races on the track, more than any other British athlete. But when you consider the disappointments which stretch way back to the Los Angeles Olympics and all the setbacks he's had this year, he can be forgiven the elation of a victory that he will be the first to confess he never expected. His prediction, when I asked him who he thought would win the race, was, well, it has to be Steve Cram, but watch for Sidney Marie.